Hello students, uh, Mr. Bickford again. Today I'm bringing you chapter one, lesson three, uh, called Rates. You do need a Cornell note page, so either one of these or your comp book. Uh, whenever you see this on the screen, the Cornell note format, that means you're following along, uh, pausing if you need to, rewinding if you need to, and creating what you see here. Let's get right into it. So chap lesson three is about rates. That's the first thing we're going to write down. So keyword over here, what is a rate? Remember that this side of our note page are the questions. Uh, so I'm not writing it as a question, but we're answering what is a rate? Over here are the notes. So we're gonna talk about what is a rate. A rate is a ratio so right there, we know it's a comparison. We know that a ratio is a comparison of two different amounts. A rate is a ratio comparing quantities with different different kinds of units. A rate is a ratio comparing quantities with different kind of units. Here's an example. You might have a rate, uh, something may travel 125 feet for every or per five seconds. That is a rate. What makes it a rate is this. You've got different kinds of units. You've got feet and you've got seconds. Feet and seconds. That's what makes it a rate. Uh, So to recap, a rate, all it is is a ratio, but you've got different units, feet and seconds, uh, money per apples. You can go on and on. As long as you're comparing two different units, that is a rate. The next thing we're going to talk about, what is a unit rate? A unit rate is a rate that is something to one. A rate that is something to one. Another way to think about it is that the denominator is one. Grab a different color here. Unit rate. Keyword unit rate. And the big meaning is a uh, unit rate is a rate that is something. It is something to one. That's the big idea. Next, we'll talk about how to find unit rates. But before that, Dun dun dun! Hidden treasure time. So if you're watching this, this is a special hidden treasure. But this is what you need to have. You need to have all note pages for the entire chapter. So you've got chapter one, lesson one, part one. Chapter one, lesson one, part two. Those are two different notes. Uh, you've also got chapter one, lesson two, and chapter one, lesson three. That's the one we're doing right now. If you have all four, when I call names uh, or draw sticks, and you have five swag tickets, so all four of these, and you've got five swag tickets to turn in, you are going to get something out of the treasure box.
So, got to have all note pages and five swag tickets. Okay, let's move on. How do we calculate or find a unit rate? That's what we're going to talk about next. How to find unit rates or how to calculate unit rates. Let me go back to our starting rate, 125 feet divided by uh, or 125 feet per five seconds. This is not a unit rate because it's something to five seconds or something per five seconds. If you have a rate and you want to change it to a unit rate, what you do is you divide by whatever your denominator is, whatever the bottom number is here, you're going to divide by that number. So I am going to divide this by 5, and I'm going to divide the top number by 5. That is going to change it into a unit rate. What happens if I divide 5 seconds divided by 5? That is going to turn into 1 second. Now it's something to one. This is a, going to be a unit rate because it's something to one. Calculator this, 125 divided by 5. If you can mental math it, great, but if not, it's because it's written down, we can use a calculator. 125 divided by 5, we get 25 feet. This is a unit rate because it is something to one. Twenty-five feet for every one second. This is a rate, 125 feet for every five seconds. Divide by five, divide by five. Now it's turned into a unit rate because it's something to one. Another example. Let's say you go to the movie theaters and you spend, uh, let's see, you spend $38 for four tickets. What's the unit rate? I'm going to change this, $38 for four tickets. I'm going to rewrite it. Just, I'm changing the format, $38 for every four tickets. I'll abbreviate tickets with a T. All I did was change it written sideways to written as a fraction. I took words, made it into a rate, $38 for every four tickets, two different units. Now I'm going to make it into a unit rate. Remember, I'll go back and highlight this. What you do is you divide whatever your denominator is, that's what I'm going to divide by. And I need to divide both numbers, 5 divided by 5, 125 divided by 5. I'm going to do the same thing, but now on this problem. My denominator is 4. What happens if I divide 4 divided by 4? We are going to get 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 ticket. I also need to do 38 divided by 4. Because it's written down, I can use a calculator. Calculator rule, 38 divided by 4 is... My calculator says 9.5, but if I'm talking about money, I would call that $9.50. Again, this is a unit rate because it's something to one. So unit rate again, because it's one, I've got something to one. Here is another unit rate. How did I get there? Again, to review. Whatever my denominator is, I'm dividing by that denominator. Both the top number and the bottom number, 
that changes a rate into a unit rate. So this is lesson three. What are rates? Recap, a rate, it's a ratio with different kind of units. Feet and seconds, a unit rate is a rate that is something to one. How do you find unit rates? You take a rate and you divide by whatever the bottom number or denominator is. You divide both the, uh, the bottom number and the top number by that. Whatever this is, same thing here, changes into a unit rate. That's lesson, uh, that's chapter one, lesson three. You will find out your assignment in class. See you next time.